Drop the gun. Drop yours and I'll consider it. Your friend has guns, Nina. I'm also a crack shot. Lenny took me to the firing range often. Let her breathe. <laughs> Listen, Mike's gonna come back to get his... to get his phone, so why don't you just let us go and you can live to see your daughter? Oh, my <laughs> life isn't the one you need to be worried about. Not only did you betray me, but it's clear from your phone call with Valentine you're no longer than you used to me. And you know how I deal with my liabilities. I don't care what this is about, but I do care about my friend. I won't have you threatening her in the bar my husband and I built. You have to the count of ten to release Nina. You're a smart woman, Phyllis. You're a straight shooter in every sense, so to speak, right? So I'm sure you understand by now that I'm going to be able to squeeze off a shot before you take me down. Shoot the Let him go free. Put others in danger, please, Phyllis. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want that either. But I can't risk your life. No. That's really too bad you came in when you did and I actually kind of liked you. She didn't pick up. No. You know it's strange. She made a pointed remark about my living at the Metro Court when she knows full well I'm living with a quarterman. Did she forget? No, I doubt it. And before she signed off, she said, that's how it goes. That's our song. I sang that for her at the nurse's ball years ago. I think she's trying to signal to me that she's in some kind of trouble. Okay. I need to go check on Nina. Let's go. How soon can we get to Nixon Falls? Peter, just go. Leave us in peace. You know, the longer you're here, the greater the chance that you're gonna get discovered. Oh, I intend to leave, and soon. But you and Phyllis won't be. In fact, the two of you won't be setting foot outside the 10-0 ever again.